Nice pad impression, Colin. <laughs> The Bible says that the bond and covenant of marriage is a gift. It's a holy mystery in which a man and a woman enter in as two individuals but leave united as one. Heavenly Father, I pray that you would bless Patrick, that he might share his love, strength, and protection with Christine so that she might find in him character, understanding, and faithfulness. Father, please bless Christine that she might share her tenderness, encouragement, and confidence so that he might find in her beauty, honor, and love. Teach them, Father, not only to live for one another, but to live for you and others. Give them a living faith, which also sends them into life with a purpose to do your will. Fill them with the presence through your Holy Spirit and keep them faithful to each other and to you. We pray this in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. On the last night when Jesus spent dinner with his disciples, the last night before he would actually be crucified, he taught them a lesson about love, about service, and humility. And he did something that was very unexpected. He did what the servant of the house should have done for his friends, for his disciples. He washed their feet. So Pat and Christine, as a sign and a symbol, and a first act of servanthood and humility today are going to wash each other's feet. Never stop washing each other's feet. Christine, I have loved you since we were young. You have been and will be the only girl in my life. You have consistently been the best person I know since I first met you 10 years ago. You will be an incredible wife and a caring mother. Proverbs speaks about a virtuous woman being worth far more than rubies, and that is you. Seen. I have never seen anyone treat people the way that you do, and it inspires me often. The selflessness you display every day and the way that you treat people continues to surprise me and encourage me. The way that you care for some people at the hospital changes their lives, both physically and emotionally. Sometimes I wonder how a girl like you, who cares so much about other people, loves me so much. Pat, I am so thankful it was you who was seated next to me on that first day of high school biology. I can't believe how lucky I am to marry the most genuine, patient, and selfless person I know. You grow your scruff just the way I like it. In the car, you always turn my seat heater on first. And you carry my bag through the entire airport, even when it's hot pink. You respect and honor my family, and they adore you. When I think of all the things I want in a husband and of the father of my children, you have them all. You teach me unconditional love, and you amaze me each day. With you, the joys of life are so much sweeter. I will always encourage your individuality, because that is what makes you so wonderful. Pat, by God's design, you complete me. Congratulations, today is your day. You're off to great places, you're off and away. You're on your own, and you know what you know and you are the guys who will decide where to go. You'll get mixed up, of course, as you already know. You'll get mixed up with many strange birds as you go. So be sure when you step, step with great care and great tact, and remember that life's a great balancing act. Just never forget to be dexterous and deft, and never mix up your right foot with your left. You're off to great places, today is your day, your mountain is waiting, so get on your way. Is Jesus in the middle? of your relationship. The covenant of marriage that you're entering into today was established and basically invented by God himself. So the ongoing power that protects and sustains that covenant is found in God himself. So you're both called to a vibrant and refreshing day-to-day -day faith walk with Jesus, not stuffy religion, not church attendance, just walking with your creator. Because life will come at you fast, the storms of life will try to rock the very foundation of your marriage, but if your walks with Jesus are strong, your marriage will be planted on the firmest foundation there is. Pat, when your eyes are fixed on Jesus first, you're going to find that you're best able to love, to care, and provide, and serve your wife. Christine, you too are called to have your heart fixed first on Jesus. 
because you're going to find the peace and security and love that your heart desires, as well as being filled up to meet the needs of your husband. You're essentially saying, Pat, I will follow you. I will support you. I have your back. You are my man. The bottom line is that both of you will need grace. Grace to grow old together, grace to change, grace to forgive each other when your feelings get hurt. Without grace, you never stop keeping score. I gladly take you, Pat. I gladly take you, Christine. To be my husband. To be my wife. My best friend. My best friend. And my one true love. And my one true love. Accepting you as God's gift to me. Accepting you as God's gift to me. I promise to protect. I promise to protect. And remain faithful to you. And to remain faithful to you. To love you unconditionally through all life's adventures. To persevere through the good and the bad. And to persevere through the good and the bad. Till death do us part. Till death do us part.